Thanks for staying. It's time for us to discuss the leagues across the world in Spain, Germany, Italy, and England because there are some matches coming up that could potentially decide who will win the leagues in these countries. I know we've been keenly bringing you updates on the English Premier League. Yeah. Manchester City and Liverpool. Liverpool, yeah. Interesting dynamics, mm. interesting games going on there. Yes. Uh, but bring us up to speed with the other leagues. L let's start with the English Premier League there mm. because we know that Liverpool have to win tonight's game to get back on top because Man City lead the pile right now at one point. They have got a crucial game against Southampton, so they need to do the job. Now, lately, Southampton have been playing well. Uh, they've got a new coach who has the same philosophy like Jurgen Klopp, has won games, and so this is going to be a very tight one for Liverpool tonight. They need to get the result. Can we then move straight to what's happening in Spain? Now, in Spain, there's a lot of daylight between Barcelona and the second team. But if they beat Atletico Madrid, they are almost going to be wrapping up the title. Mm. It looks like this year's La Liga title is going nowhere else than Barcelona. So all they need to do is pick the win against Atletico Madrid. It takes the pressure off them. Then they can concentrate on winning the Champions League, of course, which will begin with Manchester but, United. But as we've seen, and as yes. the trend is, yes. usually when, when teams have to just you know, win that result. game that will make them relax... Yeah, they, I, they always leave it to chance. Atletico are a difficult side, no doubt. But I, um, I expect Barcelona to come up with a result. If they don't, it will be because they're thinking about Manchester United and hoping to win the Champions League since the last time they won it, you know, in 2015. If we get into Italy, Juventus have been running away with, it, with their title so much that if they win their game this weekend, they pick up uh, the Scudetto. Now, in Germany, it's a crucial one. Yes, I was in Dortmund to watch um, Borussia Dortmund's game with Wolfsburg, so I have a better idea, understanding of what it all really means. Now, do why are you smiling at that? No, it's okay. <laughs> well, so, uh, Dortmund won that game by two goals today on the dying end best, when Bayern drew one all with Freiburg. What it means there is that Dortmund are leading the title, or leading the table right now with two points. Now, this weekend, we've got Dortmund up against Bayern Munich at the Allianz Arena. Oh, that's Bayern a big Munich, game. yeah, very big game. So Bayern Munich are hosting Dortmund. If Dortmund beat Bayern Munich at their home, then it's going to be like they're going to win the title because yeah. they're going to increase the, yeah. the, the, the gap to what five. Mm. But if Bayern Munich are able to beat Dortmund, then it means that we're back to where it started. And in the final five games of the, of the season, it's going to be really tight. So you look at the situation in Germany, the situation in Spain, the situation in England pretty much, the situation in Italy and France. We might have our champions, maybe when I join you on Monday, mm. telling you who won what and, and, and who is likely to win what. So it will be very interesting to look forward to these fantastic games and especially like the Dortmund Bayern mini game, they call it the Classica. I hope that uh, we get a very good game. Mm. I, I'm, 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 I don't think we're going to miss anything at all. Well, it's one. an it's, interesting it's, weekend. It's the main thing to look forward these to. These right? games are a make or break yeah, for make a or lot break. of the teams. You might want to so add the FA Cup semi-finals as well. Mm. Man City say they're looking for the quadruple and they have to play Brighton in the semi-final to make it to the final. And we've got Watford and Wolves as well. Uh, for a wonderful package this weekend, I'm sure you can't miss any of the action. I won't miss any of the action, even though I'm working over the weekend. My <laughs> eyes will be focused on those games. Thank you very much, George Adogina. And that's how we end this edition of News Desk. Really appreciate your company. Uh, don't forget the weather warning from the meteorological agency. Stay safe and uh, drive carefully. From the entire team, we wish you a very good morning and a very nice weekend. I'm Benis Abu. Baby Lance.